Hi, Verbling. I hope you're all having a great day today. My name is Lauren, and this is a class on beginner vocabulary for shopping. So when you go shopping and uh, the people who work at the store only speak English, then this class will help you know what questions to ask and what different things mean. Um, I will also give you some vocabulary for restaurants because still you're kind of shopping. <laughs> And I will also give you some advice if you work at a store and you have many English customers, what can you say to them? So I'd just like to say hello to Hamid. Hello, Hamid. How are you today? Hydrogen and iodine, uh, lanthanum, uh, uranium, uranium, and nitrogen. Oh, <laughs> you're saying hello to me? I say hi, Lauren. Yeah. <laughs> That's hilarious. I, I told one of my friends about that. He thinks it's very clever. And uh, good morning for you. Thank you. Good morning to you too. Um, for me, good afternoon. Oh, it's afternoon. Oh, no. So you can tell it's morning. <laughs> Shh. Okay. Um, uh, and welcome to Natalia. Hi. Hi, Natalia. How are you today? I'm great. And you? I'm great too. It's nice. It's nice to see you. Have you been in my classes before? Uh, I don't remember. <laughs> I I saw your classes uh, and I downloaded them, oh. but I don't remember. Join. If you joined. Yes, yes. If I join. <laughs> Mm, well, that's great. Well, welcome to class. I don't think we have met, so it's nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. Um, and welcome to Viseth. Welcome back, Viseth. <laughs> Hi, how are you? I'm great. How are you doing today? Well, you know I'm surprising. I still have cold now. Oh, God. You still have the cold? Yes. Oh, no. Well. Are you, are you well, able to sleep? Uh, well, I can sleep. Can you say again, please? Are you able to sleep, or does your cold keep you awake? Well, for me, I can sleep every everywhere and just <laughs> at every time. Even I, I have, I'm, I'm sick or anything, I can sleep. It's okay. Oh, <laughs> I'm like you. Any time of the day. Yes, any time, any time of the day. <laughs> I agree. Yes. Um, and welcome to Zuran. Hello, Zuran. Hi. Hello, Lauren. Hi. How are you today? Uh, I'm fine. Thank you for asking. Great. Excellent. Um, I just see that Ahmed is writing in the chat, and you're asking how to join the class. Ahmed, if you would like to join, right above this screen here, there is a little, uh, a little green button, and it will say "Join Class." Now you have to have a ticket to join class. So a ticket you can get that by inviting your friends to Verbling on Facebook, or you can get it from uh, becoming a premium member on Verbling, or you can uh, pay for tickets another way. Classes are only two dollars if you buy tickets, so they're very, very inexpensive. Um, and hello to Furkan, who's writing in the chat. Hello. <laughs> um, thank you for posting that, Hamid. You're welcome. W reposting. So, is anyone? No, no one is new to Verbling. Okay, so uh, Hamid has posted the link right over here. And uh, we can get started in just a second, but I'm just wondering, um, I'm going to ask everyone, Hamid, let's start with you. Hamid, um, when, uh, what do you want this class for? Do you think, uh, do you work in a store and you want to talk to customers? Or do you want to know how to talk to people in, let's say, an English store? 
Uh, actually, for example, uh, I think myself, uh, I am in England, so uh, I will go to shopping. I will go shopping. So how can uh, I communicate with uh, English uh, server or customers? So uh, it is good practice for me. Good, good. So Hamid, you are in England. Yes, for uh, for example, uh, yes, uh, I was in England in uh, 2007. Uh, so, uh, if I uh, were joined this class before, I can I could uh, more experience it. So, I could uh, be a relaxer uh, in that time. Right, you could have been more relaxed. Okay, good, excellent. Thank you, Hamid. This should be useful for you. Um, and what about Natalia? Natalia, uh, why do you want this class? Do you go into stores with English speakers very often? Uh, no, um, I study English at all and I uh, need to learn every topics. Uh, every topic? It, it w yes, uh, it, w it uh, will be useful for me. Good. Okay, that's excellent too. Great. Great. Thank you, Natalia. And uh, Viseth, Viseth, yes. um, why did you want to join this class? Do you find you speak to English people at stores a lot? or? Well, um, for me it's a lot. Just like I speak with them, ask them a lot. But the one thing that for me, everybody said keep practicing and you will be good. Yeah, yeah, and do you, sorry, so you said you do see people who are English at stores yes, a, a lot? lot. Mm, a lot. Good. Even I ask them in English too. <laughs> right, okay, so you so you need this class. Okay, great. Uh, and uh, welcome to Samir. Hello, Samir. Samir, are you Hello, hello. hello how are you? Hi. How are you today, yeah. Samir? I'm fine, thank you. How are you? I'm great, thank you. Thank you. Um, Samir, um, I'm just wondering, so you know this class is on shopping vocabulary, right? Yeah, I see, I see. Yeah, do you speak yeah. to people who, uh, who speak English very often in stores? Uh, no, I, do, I, I, I don't work at stores. But did you mean if I planned to speak uh, with uh, the uh, as a customer? Yeah. I speak. Yeah, I speak. Uh, not not I speak uh, rarely. You English. do this rarely. Mm -hmm. Yes. Good. Well, next time it will be a lot easier. Good. <laughs> yes. <laughs> um, yeah. And Zuran, Zuran, what about you? Uh, I want to learn to communicate with the shoppers uh, how to buy food and uh, life supplies, especially the uh, bar bargains or, or special offers. Right. So you want to know how to bargain, or you want to be able to speak to English people who want to bargain. Mm. I, I want to bargain and uh, I want to buy cheap uh, supplies. Right. Okay. Okay, great. Okay, that's great. I wanted to know your purpose before we continue. So, um, you saw the link. I'm just going to screen share that for you. There we go. Now, uh, there's not so much vocabulary as there is common phrases, common phrases. So, um, and just a, um, if you work at a store, and, uh, if you work at a store, English people or people who speak English like Canadians or Americans, they do not, they do not like too much attention in, in your store. Uh, I have gone traveling and I find sometimes the person who works at the store is kind of 
uh, like always watching me and talking to me and I just want to shop and I don't want so that's advice for maybe um, Vsep okay yes. Yes. right and maybe you have noticed uh, that people uh, English speakers will be rude and be like no I don't want help <laughs> well I meet it one one or two times mm, and it's not that they uh, are trying to be rude it's that they are not used to the attention Oh, they are like, why? Why is this happening? And they just don't understand. So, uh, because in in Canada or in mm -hmm. the United States, if you walk into a store, the person says, "Hi there, how's it going today?" or "How are you today?" and that's it. Mm -hmm. And you say, "Fine, thank you," and okay. that's it, right? Nice. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And 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 uh, sometimes they will say they will tell you the specials now what are the specials what do I mean by that has anyone heard that before the specials if I, if maybe, I work maybe birthday cake <laughs> I wish I wish so no, this, this... I think uh, uh, in some certain time uh, the price of a certain pro product uh, reduce Good. How Good. about yes, discount? So. Discount, yeah. Yes. Yeah. I heard it many times. The shampoo with the name that that this have been discount from from this time in this time. Mm -hmm. I, I heard it many times. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Like special offer. Viseth and Zuru are, are, or Zuran are right. So it's like when the price is reduced for let's say one day or something. So if I say, I'd like to just tell you the specials, mm -hmm. or if you are shopping, you can say, do you have specials today? This is a way of asking for discounts uh, without saying, give me money, give me money, give me a discount. It's, it's more polite to say, um, oh sorry Viseth, I'm just gonna mute you for a second because we hear some background noise, okay? Okay, great. Um, yeah, it's a way, it's a more polite way of asking for discounts. Like, do you have any discounts today or do you have any specials today? Uh, okay, let's get started with our document. So these are very basic questions you can ask. Uh, when you go into a store, or a restaurant you can say how late are you open this is asking you know maybe you walk in there late at night or in the evening and you think I want to come back here later when do they when does the store close so you can ask how late are you open or when do you close tonight either one now this one these two the next two mean the exact same thing let's say I am looking for shoes I would say and when you when you speak to someone in a store you always say excuse me so when you want to say something to a person who works at the store or if you want to say something to a customer it is always more polite instead of saying uh, do you have this it's always more polite to say, excuse me, do you have this? Or excuse me, before you speak to someone. Excuse me is a way to say, I'm sorry for disturbing you. I'm sorry for stopping you from doing what you were doing. It's just a very polite thing that English speakers are very used to. Excuse me, or uh, sorry. It's a way of saying sorry, but I have a question. Excuse me, I have a question. You can do that in class, actually, to the teacher. If you want to interrupt anyone or me, you say, excuse me, teacher, or excuse me, Lauren. That's, very, that's a nice and polite way. Um, these are the same thing. What does it mean to carry? The verb to carry. Have. One more time, Zuran. 
Uh, I think uh, it means have in this sentence. Have. have. Yeah, in this sentence it means have, yes. But if you're talking about the verb to carry, it's like right now I'm carrying this phone when you hold something. So if you ask someone who works at the store, do you carry, do you carry this? Do you carry this? This is a way of asking, do you have this? Does the store carry shoes? Or, uh, excuse me, where are your shoes? Where are your shoes? Maybe you don't know where something is, or it is something very small or something very specific. You say, where are your, or where is your, something like that. And then the object that you are looking for. Um, if you are at a clothing store and you are a size large, you are size large, but you want a size small of a t-shirt. Uh, and have you seen these before? Small, medium, large? Yes, S-M-L. Yeah, yes, Hamid. These are the sizes of a shirt. So if you have a t like this is size small. A bigger size is medium medium and then a bigger size is large SML even XX large too yeah yeah so you see S M L and XL sometimes you see X XS this uh, is a vi you you need to know that for sure if you are shopping in an English society because um, that is how we label the clothes. If you ever see S, it means small, or M, it means medium. Okay. Um, and let's say you are either at a restaurant or you, uh, you're finished and you're ready to leave. You can say, may I have my receipt or can I have my receipt? Or, um, or you can say, excuse me, I'm ready to pay now. I'm ready to pay now. Okay? Okay. When we're talking about price, you can, when you want to know how much something is, you say, excuse me, how much is this? And we said, <clears throat> yes. Viseth, when someone asks you, have you heard that before? How much is this? Um, that would be, I ask most of it. <laughs> yeah. Excuse me, how much is this? How much yes. is this? <laughs> Please, how much is this? And what it, do you say? As if you mean me, I'm, I'm the buyer or the seller? You're the seller. Uh, it uh, is around $100. Mm -hmm. Now... It, do people bargain at your store? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, Viseth, what yes. you can what you can say is, um, is I charge. You can say, I charge one hundred dollars for that. For that. But, okay. Right. I I ch or one hundred dollars. Easy. E either one. But you can say, I charge one hundred dollars for that. But what would you like to pay for it? And uh, because uh, this is like polite. Okay. And and, you, and and it makes the person feel uh, like you're a very nice guy. Like, like what would you like to pay for it? Mm -hmm. But you feel comfortable with you. Mm -hmm. okay. Yeah. Okay. Some people some people are very rude when they are bargaining. Yes. So don't worry about them. <laughs> for them, you can't do anything. They're just rude. But, yes. but some people really they just you know they're bargaining. It's normal. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. So you can say, what would you like to pay for it? And if they say, well, I want to pay 50, you can say, you can say, um, that's pretty low. The lowest I can go is 70. Uh, I see. Right? Yeah, yes. Right? The lowest I can go, the lowest I can go. Mm -hmm. And then you can say, if I go any lower than that, I'm losing money on it. I'm need, okay. Yeah, that's how you can describe that. Yeah, it's like uh, this is the way how you talk with them and how to polite. Yeah. When you talk bargain with them, I see. Yeah. 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 They can say, 
I'm, uh, I, I understand, but if I go any lower, I'm losing money on this. Mm -hmm. Right? That's how you can say it. I see. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, okay. So, yeah, but if it's, if you, uh, everyone else who, who is a shopper, okay, let's say you are a shopper, um, do you know what full price versus half price means? What's the difference? Maybe we can ask uh, Samir. Samir, what is the difference between full price and half price? Uh, full price, I think, uh, with, 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 uh, with, with uh, half price without uh, discount. Actually, uh, the full price is with no discount. Yes, full price with, 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 uh, without the uh, price. With no without price. discount. Yes. And, yeah. Uh, yes. And a price is with uh, discount. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. And yeah, exactly. Now, when we say half price, let's do this. Uh, versus. Let's give three. We have full price, and then we have discounted price. And half price actually means 50% off. Because, as you see, it's half. 50% off. It means that you, when you pay for this, you are going to only have to pay 50% of the price. If this is $20, you only have to pay $10. That's Auto loading. Uh, this mm -hmm. is a discount. 15, 15 yeah. Percent. It will be a discount. That's me. Yes, it's Samir. Out. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. And loading. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, sometimes uh, the uh, markets uh, make uh, advertisements like uh, this. Uh, if I if I buy uh, one product uh, full price, second. Uh, Product is uh, half price, so uh, I can buy uh, two uh, two products at uh, discounted price. Mm hmm. Yeah, exactly. Sometimes you see, and uh, they call that they call that uh, two two for one. That's what you mean, right, Hamid? When you buy two products yes, yes. for the price of one. Two for one. Sometimes you will see this. Or two for one. This is silly because it looks like 241. But it means the same as two products for one price. Or for the price of one. For example, uh, second uh, products uh, can be free. Yeah. Buy one, get one free. Buy one, get one free. Or sometimes you can do buy two, get one free or something. Yeah, that's very common. And um, uh, Viseth, you can say that, right? You can yeah. say to a customer, well, if you buy two, I'll give you one for free. Yeah. Right? Yes. Um, okay. Now, discount, you all know discount. It just means y that you will get you get to pay less than what the money than what the price is a discount i'm going to type this out here uh, when a price has been lowered so um, if i say okay this shirt is twenty dollars but today i'm selling it for fifteen dollars this means that the shirt has been discounted. Okay. Um, and then we have have you, okay. I think most countries have this, but uh, let me ask Natalia. Do you have sales tax on everything you buy? Um, sales tax. Yeah. 
mm, I think uh, it it uh, include included in um, price on products. Yes. Oh, I see. Okay, okay, Natalia. Well, in uh, I know for sure in Canada and the United States, like in the United States, tax is let's say I think it's six percent. Okay, six percent, like this. In the states, I, I don't oh, know just... our percent. Pardon me. I don't know our percent on on sales tax. Oh, okay. Well, in Canada, sales tax is thirteen percent. Wow. So, <gasps> and it is not included. Mm -hmm. So if you see something, let's say you go to a restaurant in Canada and you look at a menu and the menu says hamburger for $10. At the end of the meal, you cannot just give $10. They will give you a receipt, right? A little receipt. Mm -hmm. Do you know what a receipt is? Yes. Yes? It's like uh, a receipt, it's like where it says everything you bought. I see, yes. Mm -hmm. And they will give you a receipt and it will say hamburger, uh, $10, sales tax. And if sales tax is 13%, they will say sales tax, $1.30 if it is $10. If it is $20, it will be an extra $2.60. So, if you're buying something that is $100, you actually have to pay $113. But don't yeah. worry about the math, the, the tax, the, I mean the, the math. <laughs> uh, some uh, our cafes and restaurants uh, have sales tax too. Uh, it's 10%. Oh no, that's different. For mm -hmm. us, we call that tips. Tips mm. or gratuities. Okay, let me write that down because that is an extra on top of the tax. So, tipping. I have sales tax and tipping. I just want to uh, separate those here. Sales tax and tipping. Sales tax is often not included in the price. so it is not included in the price. Now, tipping is never included in the price. Um. Okay, so I typed this out here. So, tipping. Uh, have you heard of tipping before, Natalia? Yes. Yeah. So, um, for tipping, do you want to try to explain that to me? Like, what? how do you know about tipping? Do you tip in your country? Mm, I, I didn't do that. <laughs> but uh, some people uh, give tipping. Mm -hmm. Is it correct? Give tipping, mm -hmm. yes. Or they give tips. Oh, give tips, but mm -hmm. uh, it's very rarely. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. Here in Canada and again the United States, and I think in the UK, in Britain as well, you are expected to give to give a tip. It is like we we have an idiom. We say. It is an unwritten rule. No one has no one has wrote down the rule, but everyone knows it. So if Zuran comes to Canada and he does not tip because he does not know, he doesn't know he has to tip, then maybe the person will be very rude the next time he comes to uh, uh, to the restaurant or goes into the taxi or uh, goes to the bar. It, everyone tips here. 
everyone, it, always, and it's expected 15%. So if you see that, let's say, your hamburger is $10, your receipt will add the sales tax first. So it will say, okay, your sales tax is $1.30. But now, the waiter expects you to tip 15% on top of that. So they would expect you to give a dollar fifty extra or maybe two dollars extra as a tip. Okay? Is that is that uh does that sound crazy, Natalia? <laughs> Excuse me, uh, your side uh, uh, in uh, for a taxi I must pay TPM. Uh yeah. to 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 the driver. Yeah. Uh, the, uh, what what is the rate that I pay for? The rate that you pay for? The 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 the, the money I I I pay to whom, except uh, the driver. Ex only the driver. So, uh, the idea is that anyone who gives customer service, not anyone, but certain jobs that give you a service so they are not giving you let's say a product so if this is not a shirt I do not give you a shirt or something when I take you in my taxi car so I am just doing you a service this is what we say doing someone a service we call it the service industry uh, okay. In KFC or McDonald's, there is a, there are no waiters, so I don't need to table, right? Yeah, yeah, exactly, Zuran. So you do not tip in fast food restaurants. So in KFC or in McDonald's or any place where you are not sitting down and uh, being served or getting a service you don't tip okay so so like if you are in a restaurant Zuran and someone is coming to your table filling up your water giving you drinks doing everything you ask for them then you tip them and the money goes straight to that person it goes right to that person Yes, uh, um, it's a it's a very strange uh, uh, concept. Can I if you're not can I refuse the service? Oh, one more time, Ziran. Can can I refuse the service? I do it by myself. Oh, <laughs> well, yeah, but you can't do that in a restaurant, right? Okay. Right, like in a restaurant, you have to get the service. You cannot refuse the service because you can't get your own drinks. You can't put your order, your food, into the computer. You can't do those things, right? Mm, yes. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but good question, Zuran. And sometimes you can refuse the service. Like, uh, I think in other countries, where are you from, Zuran? Uh, from China. And they don't pay uh, in the, in the every life. They don't tip? Uh, yes, they don't have this uh, tradition. Yeah, yeah, they don't tip. And uh, everything is more expensive here, too. Like, uh, but, but there's less services. So, like, in China or in different places in the world, uh, well, I guess you don't have tips. But, like, for example, I went to the Dominican Republic or... Uh, different places in South America. They will, for example, Zuran, come to your car and pick up your bags from your car and take them to where you're going. And they expect you to tip them. And you can refuse service there. You can say, no, I don't want this. Thank you. Or if you go to a hotel, if you go to a hotel here in Canada, and someone wants to bring your bags to your hotel room, then they might, I mean, that is a less 
they, they don't expect a tip as much as people who work in restaurants expect a tip, but you could refuse the service so that you do not uh, use the service that you're not paying for. You can figure it out when you get to, like, when you are in those situations. You can ask someone, like, is it normal to tip? And people know that it's not normal everywhere in the world. So they, they say, oh, yes or no. Uh, OK. Uh, OK, so we've got tipping. Now, clearance, clearance is another way to say big discounts because they have not been able to sell something. So, so let's say, Hamid, you come into my store and you see I have something on clearance. I bought way too many pens and I don't know what to do with them because I have had them for one year and I can't sell them. So instead of selling each pen for one dollar, I am selling them for five pens for one dollar. That is clearance. That is like, uh, what is that? Eighty percent off. <laughs> so that's what clearance is when they want to get rid of something. Uh, okay, and then we talked about special. So these are. Um, oh, of course. There's. Can I return this? Um, can I return this? This means if I buy something in Canada, if I buy something, and let's say I buy this pen, but now I don't like it, I can take my receipt and the pen and go back to the store, and they must give me my money back. Okay? They must give me my money back. That's what a return is. A return. Return. It means to give something back. Exchange. Or uh, exchange is different. Okay. So, uh, uh, mm -hmm. uh, go ahead. Uh, okay, I was going to say, Hamid, a refund, refund. Let me show you this. Refund, like this. Uh, a refund is when you get your money back. An exchange An exchange is when you pick out one item, you return one item and you pick out another item or you take another item. Let's say choose. For example, Hamid, let's say I buy a shirt but I don't like it. If I'm going to exchange it, I bring that shirt back, but I don't get my money back. I just get a different shirt back. Right? Okay, gotcha. Yeah, that's when you ask, can I get a refund? Or can I get an exchange? Either one. If you have a problem and someone is not helping you, or let's say they say, no, we don't do refunds, but it's very important. It's very fine to say, may, may I speak to the manager? May I speak with the manager? Is your manager here? Can I speak to him or her? Um, I know for Zuran, in China, they do not have uh, many debit cards or credit cards, right, Zuran? No, no, we can pay in the both ways. But not as much, right? Like you do a lot of cash, right? Or uh, That's true, that's true. Uh, in some big malls, uh, the rich uh, pay pay money with credit cards, but uh, in every every everyday life we pay with cash. Mm. Mm hmm. Yeah. Okay. I see. So yeah, with with um, in Canada and United States, almost everything is paid for with debit or credit. But uh, some. I have oh. a, I have a question. Mm -hmm. uh, do you have laws to uh, to ask uh, the sellers uh, what kind of uh, products you must uh, uh, can allow return uh, and the other kind of products you can don't don't offer the return service. 
Yeah, so were you, do you mean can you ask that question? Or, yeah, because you could ask that question, right? Ziran, uh, um, I, I must uh, ask uh, every seller when I buy a, a, a thing. Or yeah. in some in, in some situation, it's uh, uh, not need to speak. Uh, in a mall, do you know what a mall is? Yeah. Like yeah. a shopping mall? In a shopping mall, almost every place will do returns and exchanges. Almost every place. They definitely, most of them do returns. Some will say no refund, but if you're not sure about something, you always ask. I always ask, and I live here. So always ask, just to make sure. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, okay, if you're going to use your debit card or your credit card, this is what the machine will say. The machine, so let's say you have your credit card, you take your credit card, you put it in the machine, okay, and it will say those things. Enter your PIN. What is your PIN? What is a PIN? Uh, it's password. a code. It is a code. Yeah, a secret code, code, a password. Yeah, secret, secret code. code. Yes, yes. So it will say enter your PIN or remove card or signature, whatever. So uh, those are the English, we say prompts. Um, okay, here's a whole bunch of vocabulary that I'm not going to go through, but uh, first I just want to make sure uh, I'm going to give you some um, give you some role playing experience. But for right now, does anyone have any specific questions, like what to do uh, in a situation, or does anyone have any questions that have not been answered yet? Anyone? Yes, no. Yes, no? Okay, good. Um, um, maybe the most important thing is if you go to pay for something and no one is there, you can wait or you can go find someone and say, I'm ready to pay for this. This is pretty common when no one is there for you to, to go to pay for your things. Um, uh, for Viseth. Viseth, do you have any questions about about uh, what you can say to English speakers? Hmm. No. Um, no. 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 Has anything strange ever happened and that you didn't understand? Like someone said something that you didn't understand? Well, it's not quite it. I don't understand it. But well, most of it, I most of it, they they ask me. Well, I do understand it. Mm -hmm. So most of the time. Yeah, so it's not a problem. Okay, yeah. okay, good. That's excellent. Okay, well, uh, so let's start. I'm thinking. Uh, <laughs> let's get Hamid. So Hamid, are you ready? Yes. yes. Okay. I think Hamid and uh, Samir. So Samir, why don't you try to be the person who owns a store? Okay. Yes. Uh, okay. Yeah. You you own the store, and Hamid is the customer. And Hamid, you can use any of these sentences here. So for Samir, for for Samir, you are the shop assistant. So you can say these things. Sometimes someone will come up to you and say, "Hello, can I help you?" or "What can I do for you?" Are you being served? Something like this. So um, here is a whole bunch of dialogue for you. And Hamid, down below that, this is the customer. These are things that you can say. Okay. Um, sorry, one second. Samir, uh, we're hearing a little bit of background noise. Is something moving around your microphone? Uh, I can hear it. Okay. Okay. Uh, I'm sure it won't be a problem. Okay, so whoever wants to go first, and if you don't know what to say, I will try to give you suggestions. Okay? Okay. Okay. 
So Hamid, you have just walked into Sam to Samir's store. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> this product is very cheap. It is very expensive, so I can ask the uh, customer service. Mm -hmm. Excuse me, uh, can you help me? Yes, I can. I will be uh, the customer or the shop assistant? You are the shop assistant, Samir. Okay, mm -hmm. okay. okay yes, I can. Okay, mm -hmm. uh, how much uh, this uh, souvenir uh, can I learn? So, in, so oh, sorry, so Hamid, instead of saying can I learn, you can say just uh, how much is this souvenir? Okay. Yeah, and instead of saying can I learn, it would more be, you would, you would use the word, the verb to know. Can I know? Can I know okay. what? Yeah. Okay, and Samir, what is your answer? Uh, he, he asked me about, about the price or? Price, yes. Yes, um, uh, it is uh, 50, it is 100 dollars. Oh. oh, it is very expensive. Okay, uh, don't, don't worry, I will, I will uh, make to you a discount. If you nowadays, want. nowadays, uh, have you any uh, this? Uh, what is the word? Uh, discounted uh, price, uh, like this souvenir. Uh, I, I I don't hear you. Sorry. Could you read that? Uh, nowadays, uh, have you any uh, discounted price? Like this souvenir. Yes, I will. I will give you a discount uh, at uh, twenty percent if you buy two, two, uh, two items in our products. I will give you two per, uh, twenty percent uh, discount. Okay, let me think. Mm -hmm. <laughs> It is okay. uh, it is uh, a good uh, over. I think. Okay. Uh, what is the uh, what is this product origin? I mean, uh, where it is made? Yes. Yes. Uh, it is. Uh, it is. Uh, it is from uh, UK. And uh, what what uh, what is this product uh, features? Uh, is it uh, com uh, is it uh, this product selling uh, common <laughs> or rarely? No, it is it is very common. It is uh, not very rare. Okay, so um, I want to buy. <laughs> okay, <laughs> do you do you have a credit card or cash? Money. I will pay cash. Okay, you're a good, uh, you're a good uh, customer. <laughs> <laughs> oh, as always. I will make... give you thirty percent. Oh, that's you... nice. Because <laughs> so you pay cash. Um, okay, thank you. <laughs> good. So I can see um, that uh, great, great dialogue, both of you, and uh, there were little something. Oh, yeah. Uh, Samir, you can ask, how would you like to pay for that? How would you like to pay for that? That is a okay. question that we ask, and, and this is good for you too, uh, Viseth. This is a question that we ask when we mean uh, credit card or debit card or cash. Mm -hmm. So instead of saying those, we just say, how would you like to pay for that? How would you like to pay for that? Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Good, good. Um, and uh, Hamid, something that customers say very often is instead of saying, I want to buy, we say, uh, great, I'll take it. Okay. I'll take it. Yep. When you have made your decision, you say, great, I'll take it. Or you can say, you know, I really like this. I'll go with, I will go, uh, may maybe I've, I'm deciding between these two and I say, you know what? I'll go with this one. 
I'll okay. go with this one. Or, or yeah, you say, I'll go with that one, whatever. Okay. I'll go with the green one, something like that. Or I'll take it. That's like the more common way to, to say something. Okay, and this souvenir is a birthday uh, present for Lauren. Oh, thank you, Hamid. <laughs> um, and uh, some uh, Zuri, thank you so much. Uh, you're absolutely right. Sometimes you go to return something. Zuri mm -hmm. is just writing in the chat. You go to return something in a store, and they say, "We do not do returns, but we will give you." It is called a voucher. A voucher or an in-store credit. In-store credit. This means if my store is called Lauren's Shoes, Lauren's Shoes, then I will give you a, a store voucher or an in-store in credit or a voucher that you can spend the money of the refund only in my store. So maybe you return your shoes, but I don't give you $100 in cash. I give you $100 in a, a piece of paper that only works in my store. This is called a voucher or a store credit or in-store credit. Good. Um, okay, now let's, let's get uh, Natalia. Natalia. Why don't you ask Viseth? So Viseth, now you will be the store owner. Okay. Okay. And Natalia, you are the customer. Okay, great. So, great. So so Natalia, feel free and Viseth to look at that vocabulary and try to use something new while you are in dialogue. Okay, where is it? Okay, and let's get Viseth to start. Okay. Excuse me, can I have it? Uh, can I help you with something? Uh, yes, of course. Uh, I looking. I'm looking for a new dress. Can you help me, please? Okay, one moment, please. I will check it for you. Mm. Is in this. Uh, what what type of uh, dress you want? Uh, could you repeat, please? Yes. Uh, Please, if what type of dress you want? So you can oh. say, Viseth, what kind? What kind of dress what? are you looking for? Yes, what kind of dress are you looking for? Good. Oh, okay. I I'm looking for a smart, a smart casual style. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. He uh he is the the style you you looking for are you happy with this style or the other style mm. i'm sorry i don't understand uh, do you show me or not <laughs> yes i will show you but now, uh, i have i have different style now i i show you the the style you are looking for so i have different style to check it if you like it or not. Oh, uh, I want to try on that dress. Uh, my size is M. Okay, one and, moment. Oh, one I should I should uh, specify uh, to Natalia. So if you say my size, you don't say the letter. You only see the letter. So if you if you are looking at the dress, it will say M, but mm -hmm. you say when you are speaking, you say medium. Mm -hmm. Okay. My size, my size is medium. 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 Okay. My mm -hmm. size is medium. Mm -hmm. uh, okay. One moment. I will find this size for you. Okay. Here it is. This is your size. You can okay. use the dress dressing room that is fix you or not <laughs> where is your dressing room please uh, at the right side corner okay yes in a few minutes okay uh, thank you <laughs> oh that's uh, this dress is is okay 
uh, I want to buy it. <laughs> okay, thank you so much. I'm glad that you are uh, you happy with this dress. <laughs> so, uh, are you paying by cash or by credit card? Uh, I have a debit card. Okay, then please give me the card. Okay, so please enter pick, your pick, pin. Pick, 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 pick. <laughs> okay, we finish paying for you. Uh, it, anyway, please, uh, here is your card and your, your receipt. Thank you so much for stopping us. Please come again. Okay, thank you too. And tell me, please, uh, um, can I return this if I don't like this dress? Well, you. Um, I'm sorry that uh, I was so we we not refund it. No but refunds. No refunds. No refund. But. Uh, for uh, for me, I don't, you can talk to my boss, so maybe he can refund it for you. But okay. um yes, but I'm sorry, but I cannot refund it for you because uh, I'm, I'm it's not my duty to refund it. It's my shop uh, rule. Yeah. Or you can you can just say I am not able to refund yeah. it. Yeah. But if but if there's a problem, problem? Yeah. you can speak to my boss. Yeah. Okay. Okay. okay, thank you. Yeah. Goodbye. You're welcome. Yes. Welcome. Uh, welcome. Yay! Yeah. Um, I just wanted to say to me, Seth, when you say the word size, we want to hear that z size. 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 Good. Size. One more size. time. Size. Size. Yeah. Size. Yeah, mm -hmm. we really want to hear that because or else I just hear sigh. Okay. Right? And I yeah. want to hear size. Size. Good, yeah. Good, good. Um, and when you say the word style, style. Style. Right? It's style, not yeah. sty. Uh -huh. right? Aha. I really want to hear style. Okay. okay. Mm -hmm. Those L sounds are very important. What um, yes, yes. Yeah, okay, great. Um, and uh, great job, Natalia. I'm glad you liked your dress. <laughs> Um, and uh, Natalia, uh, again, if when you're ready to buy it, what you said was perfect. But if you ever want to, uh, I guess the more common thing is I'll go with this. I'll take it. Okay. I'll take it. I'll go with this. Mm -hmm. um, I think uh, you should ask about the returning policy uh, before you pay. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Iran is right. If you're not sure. Uh, Natalia, you should ask about the returning policy before you pay. <laughs> right, Natalia? I'm sorry? Zuran is saying you should ask for the return policy before you pay. Really? Yeah, of course, yeah. Because if you say, I'm not sure if I want to return this, can I? And he says, no, we don't do refunds. And maybe you will say, I will think about it and come back tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Um, okay, Zuran. Now you and I will go uh, uh, kind of quickly because I need and I'm very sorry. I noticed you were having connection problems earlier. Uh, yes. Oh, I feel so bad for that. Okay. Well, uh, if anyone wants to get to another class, oh, I guess my class is next. So to leave too early. <laughs> uh, okay, Zuran. So I will be, do you want to be the customer or the store owner? Okay, I will be the customer. Okay, uh, where, where can I find a, a, a Samsung smartphone? Oh, I have your smartphone right here. What kind of, uh, what kind of phone are you looking for? Uh, a, a Samsung. Uh, with uh, a with, uh, better hardware. I agree, mm. yes. Well, this phone uh, has la, la, many la, uh, Please show me, please show me yours. Oh, uh, right here. It looks like, okay. an, like an uh, iPhone, but I'll it's take it. Uh, I'll take it. Uh, how much do, uh, do you want for this? Well, this is about $300. 
Okay, uh, uh, can, can I exchange it? Oh yes, of course. If you don't like it, you can come back and exchange. Okay, I'll take it. Yay! I'll take it. That's really good because that's the most, that's really common. I'll take it. Yeah. Or I'll go with that one. Okay, I'll go with it. I'll go with that one. Um, well, I was going to say something about, uh, um, of course, I think you know how to say this, Zuran, but if you're going for a phone, you could say, could you tell me the features of this product? Like Hamid said earlier, can you tell me the features of this product? Or, uh, can you tell me about this product? Like, if you want to buy a phone, and, you know, you, you, you will need to have the person... Oh, you can't hear me, Zuran? Oh, Zuran is writing in the chat. He can't hear me. Okay, well, I'm going to let you all go then now, uh, because I have to get to my next class, which is on reading intonation. Okay, so I will see you all hopefully in the next class. Thank you all so much. And it was so nice to meet you, Natalia, and to see Hamid, Samir, and Viseth again. Yes. I'll see you soon. Okay, I will be definitely in that class. Because Yay, you that's know, awesome. You know my fault. <laughs> yes. <laughs> it's not a fault. It's just something to work on. <laughs> okay. okay, bye. Okay, bye.